Hey, how's it going? Dave from davesguitarplanet.com. This time we're going to take a look at jazz chords or chords with the upper extensions. You might have looked at my seventh chord video about how to make uh, seventh chords and this time we're going to add the 9 and the 11 and the 13. For looking at the upper chord extensions, which we're going to do this time, it's convenient to use what we call a 2-5-1 chord progression. So the nice thing about the 2-5-1 progression, if we extend them to the 7th degree for the 2 chord, we've got 1 flat 3 5 and a flat 7, so that makes a minor 7 chord. For the 5 chord, we've got one major three five flat seven that makes a dominant seven chord and the tonic chord one three five major seven that makes your major seven chord so this would be a real common progression in, in jazz tunes two five one in each one of these families uh, the fifth doesn't change, so the fifth doesn't add that much character to the chord. Again, it's what kind of a three and what kind of a seven the chord has is what gives it its essential character. Here it's got a flat seven and a flat three. And this one's got a major three and a flat seven. And this one's got a major seven and a major three. The three, what I call chord families. So what if we throw one more note into the mix. Seventh chords have four notes. Uh, if we look at the, the tonic chord, the one chord, one, three, five, seven, one, two, three, four notes. So what can we do? We can take this three and we can move it down here to a two. Uh, two and nine are the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a 9 is an octave above a 2. We can do this grip. Now I get a third down here. The voicing would be 1, 3, major 7, 9, 5. You can even add a major 7 on top. If you want a full 6 string voicing, uh, if you don't, you can just play this voicing or this one. So this is going to be our, our major 7 family grip. If we take the 2 chord, before we had just this B minor 7, and here's a root, and here's a 2 or a 9, so we can do this, and that's a minor 9 chord. So 9 chords, instead of being 4 note chords, they're 5 note chords. Of course on the guitar, uh, it's often difficult to play all five notes because of the impossibility of uh, the way the guitar is laid out. On the piano, you don't run into that problem. And with the sustain pedal, you can play 88 notes if you want to, all the keys on the piano. Can't do that on the guitar, but that's fine because uh, we can toss out some of the uh, notes that don't give that much character, the, the, f the five, for example. Uh, so this this voicing is one flat seven flat three five nine. So we get all five five notes in there. And to play a dominant nine chord, here's your regular dominant seven. Here's a root. We can go up to the nine there. So now we have one major three flat seven nine, and we can play a 3 up here. Here I'm barring the G, B, and 
E strings with my third finger and then I uh, kind of bridge over with my second finger. This is the same kind of shape as this B minor 7 before but moved toward the floor one string and now I press my first finger on the sixth fret to get the major third there. So I need to uh, make a hole in between here to let that ring. Very common dominant nine grip. Okay, so if we play the two, five, one progression extended to the ninth degree, we've got B minor nine, dominant 9 and a major 9 can play a major 7 on top those are the 9 chords next we're going to go to 11th chords now the 11th is kind of a special interval you might Remember that if we play the scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So an 11 is just a fourth, an octave higher. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we play this open A chord and we play a D note, that's a 4 or an 11 in the key of A there's an A suspended chord. So the 11 gives it kind of an open suspended feel. If we take the dominant chord and we want to add a 4, uh, here's a 3, and half step above 3 is 4. Now we've got three notes in a row on the same fret all on the seventh fret here, playing with my second, third, and fourth finger, and then keeping this root down here. This would actually we'll call it a suspended seven chord, because we don't have a nine. To play a full eleven chord, we should have all the odd numbers, one, one, three, five, flat seven, nine, and eleven. A minute ago, we were playing the E dominant nine chord. Intervals 1, major 3, flat 7, 9, 5. And we can take this major 3 and just move it up a half step to a 4, which is the same as an 11. And world's easiest guitar chord, just... Now we've got the intervals 1, 11, flat 7, 9, 5. E 11. Put a open E on the bottom. And the two chord, we had B minor seven. Here's B minor nine with a nine up here. Now, it's pretty difficult to have a one flat three, five flat seven, nine and 11. So we're gonna have to sacrifice some notes. So here's a common minor 11 grip. We've got a root flat seven, flat three, we don't have a 9 in this chord, but that's okay. Now let's talk about the, the major 11. Actually, we don't usually make a major 11 chord. If we took this major 7 and we uh, played a 3 down here, we've got 1, 3, major 7, Okay, now if we move this 3 up to a 4, which is the same as an 11, we end up with this. Well, your ear will tell you that doesn't work. And there's a couple reasons why. This, look at this interval, from the 3 to the 4, here would be an octave. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but when we, we play a flat 9, interval that's pretty dissonant so this chord would have that inside of there another reason uh, it doesn't work is it has a tritone between the major 7 and this 11 there so tritones that's 
one of the most dissonant intervals, so we don't normally play a major 11 chord. If we wanted to play the 2-5-1 progression extended to the 11th degree, we can play a B minor 11, a dominant 11, E dominant 11 with a low root, and then we can just go back to a major 7 or a major 9 or just a major triad. You can mix these up, you know, you can play a B minor triad, a dominant 7 chord or a dominant 9 chord, and then to a, a major 7 tonic. Or, so you don't have to keep it 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine or 7-7-7, seven, seven, seven. you can mix them up. Okay, let's talk about 13s. When we get to 13 chords, we're not going to play the 11 anymore because uh, the 11 has that suspended sound. Let's first look at the dominant 11 chord, the E11. We've got a root, major 3, 5, flat 7, 9. We're not going to play the 11 now, and a 13. <clears throat> so we can take our 9 grip, 1, 3, 4, flat 7, 9, 5, so a 13 is the same as a 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6 and 13 are the same, so we can play like this, would be a common dominant 13 grip with a root on the A string, and the major tonic Take this major 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Here's your 13 there. So if we can play this grip, 1, major 7, major 3, 13, and you can bar with your little finger to get a 9 up here, a major 13. Why don't we do a 2 5 1? We'll do a minor 9, a dominant 13, and a major 13. B minor 9, E dominant 13, E major 13. So that's as far as you go. Minor 13 we normally don't do. If I did it, this would be the 13, I can play it like this, but you get a tritone between the flat 3 and the 13. That's why we normally don't play a minor 13. It's possible if you want that dissonant sound to play. It's up to you, of course. It's all what you want and what you don't want. Okay, so just to review, triads, B minor, E major, A major, seventh chords, B minor 7, or like this, E dominant 7, A major 7, ninth chords, B minor 9, E dominant 9, or E9, A major 9. Of course, when we just say E7 or E9, we mean dominant 9. 11 chords, B minor 11, E dominant 11, E11, with a low E, and there's no major 11, so I'll play a major 7 or major 9 or I can play a major 13 if I feel like it. 13 chords, there's no minor 13 or not usually so I'll play a minor 9, E dominant 13, A major 13. Alrighty, if you are looking at my website I'll also put a PDF to the other grips like a dominant 13 chord with a root on the bottom E string, major 7, major 9, etc. with a root on the A string. So click and print that if you feel like it.
I hope you got something out of this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.